the reasons why the A-10 can't be provided to the Army. The impediments preventing the provision of the A-10 to the Army are deeply entrenched in historical agreements and contemporary operational considerations, manifesting as a confluence of strategic, logistical, and bureaucratic factors. At the heart of these constraints lies the Key West Agreement of 1948, a foundational document that delineated the roles and missions of various branches within the United States military. According to this seminal agreement, the Air Force assumes responsibility for all fixed-wing combat aircraft, relegating the Army to the domain of rotary wing and light fixed-wing aircraft. This strategic division was instituted with the explicit purpose of averting redundancy and competition among the services, ensuring the establishment of a unified command structure for air power. The ramifications of the Key West Agreement cast a formidable shadow on the possibility of the A-10 being integrated into the Army's arsenal. The delineation of responsibilities outlined in this agreement reflects a deliberate effort to streamline operations, prevent duplication, and foster cohesive command and control over air power. While this organizational framework has historical significance, it poses a formidable challenge for the Army's aspirations to acquire a platform as specialized and distinct as the A-10. Moreover, the intricate nature of the A-10 itself presents operational and logistical challenges that further complicate its potential integration into the Army. This aircraft, renowned for its close air support capabilities, demands a level of maintenance support and coordination that is inherently complex. The Army, with its unique infrastructure, personnel composition, and expertise, may encounter significant hurdles in operating and maintaining the A-10 at a standard commensurate with the Air Force's capabilities. Recognizing the divergent roles and missions assigned to the Army and the Air Force, it becomes evident that a collaborative approach is imperative for the effective support of ground troops. The synergy between these two branches is crucial in providing a comprehensive and optimized response to the dynamic demands of modern warfare. While the A-10's capabilities are unquestionably valuable for ground support operations, the intricate interplay of historical agreements, operational challenges, and the need for inter-service collaboration converges to make the provision of the A-10 to the Army a complex and multifaceted endeavor. As military strategists grapple with these intricacies, the pursuit of the most effective and harmonious utilization of air power resources remains a paramount objective.